the place that I used to work out was busy constantly mm. from like yeah, yeah, yeah. nine o'clock until like for two, three o'clock. Did he lag just now or was he thinking? No, I'm mentally lagged. I'm mentally lagged. <laughs> <laughs> I physically lagged. Because I looked over and you were like, all right, he's moving. Did I do the windows? <laughs> Terrifying. Literally terrifying. to the next episode of the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Versus with the one, the only, the g, -g, -g Game Boy Luke. How we feeling, my boy? you right, guys. This is Game Boy Luke here. That's we had a minor intermission between um, yes, we did. recording these episodes. So, again, God, as, no I, as I mentioned before, you know, you get into a momentum and it was just mm. stopped and halted it makes me upset. Do you want to tell everyone what happened during the intermission? I think you should yeah, tell everyone what happened. Yeah, of course. So Luke's internet died. My dog ate her poop and then threw up all over her bed upstairs. I had to clean it. Then we came back down. The internet started acting up again. But now it seems that everything is working properly. And we are ready to bring you guys the greatest episode of this series. All right. I yeah, think you buddy. should. I think we need it. We need it. We should have discussed this before we start recording. But you need to give me like a certain like gesture or like word that insinuates that I'm lagging again without like telling okay. everybody that, that it's happening. Well, so far you haven't lagged. So <laughs> fingers crossed that we'll make okay, it through this really episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> blue screen of death. It's it just, you know, it's so fitting that we talked about in the previous episode, how we have a lot of bulk recording. We have to do a lot of preparation for packs. Of course. And then Luke's internet craps out. My dog literally craps out of her mouth all over the <laughs> kitchen. It's just, it's been a great day. It's been a really Bro, great day. It, it was a wonderful cycle, you know. Actually, I don't even want to talk about it. I think we should just get off this topic immediately because I don't want to make any mistakes. I think you're right because the universe people, acts in mysterious ways. A lot ways. of people eat when they're watching us, right? So, like... That's true. What are you That's eating? That's one of my favorite things to do. I want to know what you're eating right now. Snacks, food. Like, I want to I hear it all. I cooked the Thai green curry earlier and it was really mm. good. It was really nice. I have a whole tray of chicken upstairs that I'm going to devour at some point today, and I am just all for it. I am very excited. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really happy, too, that we are going to get these three done today, and we are universe, all right, yes. manifestation. I'm just looking forward to it because, you know what, then tomorrow we don't even have to record. We could have a nice day of just chilling and streaming. Big it's going to be chilling. a beautiful day. Absolutely. Big stream, big Dick energy, my guy. Oh, oh, oh. say something. Oh, I saw say it. Something. I saw it. I right, saw we're it. still here. We're I'm still good. Here. I'm good. I'm <laughs> For a second, your camera went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, oh, no. I know, I know what it's happening, too, because that same happens to you. Yeah. So it's Isn't it hard. so annoying when internet just doesn't work? Like, yes. we take internet for granted when it works great. But when it's not working, we're like, really? Today mm -hmm. of all days, you're going to yeah. crap out on us? Yeah. yeah. I'm just not even going to look at you. I'm just not going to look at you. <laughs> we're going to get this done today, I'm just going right? to hope that when I, when I suddenly stop responding, you just about loop. Yeah. When, I, loop. when you stop responding, I'm just going to go, all right, you know what, guys? You probably aren't even going to see this. We're going to have to re-record yeah. this tomorrow because yeah. just the internet's just not having it today. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to catch up in today's episode, which I'm excited about. By the way, if you guys haven't already entered the giveaway, go ahead and do so. Click the link in the description. Follow Indeed. us on Twitter, Instagram, Indeed. at Vinny, at Game Boy Luke. You're another day. Vinny, yeah, what are you streaming today? You got more Emerald today? Uh, I finished Emerald. Oh, congratulations. Was, I see you, big I dog. I literally have been trying to beat the mass way for Emerald for the longest time. And uh, it was really, really cool because the challenge that ended everything off, that finished the entire thing, mm. was I didn't even fight in the last. It was whoever was in my chat that was a moderator. I called and they. It was six. It was six. Six people. So one Pokemon per mod, right? Okay. And whichever time the Pokemon was sent out, they chose what to do. So I didn't get to play. It was everyone That's else. Epic. It was. It was you, a you really, gave really it in cool the hands way. of the people, and they and yeah. they delivered. Yeah, they, they delivered, did. ladies and gentlemen. Our um our Tyranitar had Trace and we um bumped into a Pokemon with Pure Power, so we traced Pure Power and Tyranitar was just smashing it. Oh, it was great. Dude, Tyranitar is literally like one of the greatest Pokemon ever invented. And I have the cutest hiccup on YouTube. And if you disagree, well your opinion's invalid. Oh my god, dude. I really hope that uh JD uh gets hiccups while he's around you guys. I need I need you to witness it because when he hiccups, Does he have the greatest hiccup ever? No, it's weird. So when you hiccup when you hiccup, when you hiccup, you like you know you make, you make like a sort of noise, right? 
Mm, yes, Jay, we know when JD's got the hiccups because he goes. <laughs> what the fuck? What I, noise is that? I don't know, but you'll just like, you'll know because it was like. And we'll it like, sounds like a slurp. It's like. He's like, so, yeah, he sucks in air. It's really strange. I love him the bits, but it's one of the most interesting things I've ever seen him do. And he'll just sit there and we'll know when he's doing it. So we're like, JD, shut up. And he's like. Like, it's every always few great seconds. when a friend has a really, really good sneeze, too. Like, it just. Oh. Ah! And you're like. Was that a sneeze, or were that's, you releasing a demon into the world? What was going on there? That's that's me. That's me. I um, when I was a kid, I used to get stuck in my sneeze, right? Oh, where I would like begin to sneeze and hold on to it, and it would, and I, I would be like, <laughs> <laughs> you just lag out like your internet yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up lag out. And like, I remember one of my math teachers had the greatest sneeze ever. It was like, Mew. it sounded like a mew, honestly, crying. It was be it was beautiful. It was oh, lovely. Who was it? There was somebody that used to sneeze, and they'd make like a, they were like, in cars Mew. or something. So they'd be like, Pew! like <laughs> <laughs> that's epic. Pew! It's yeah. Like, Yeet! just a freaking great sound effect, dude. It's like it's. By like the way, a, for the record, if there's any time cars. during today's episode where we just don't respond to each other, it's not us. Okay, it's yeah. the internet. Yeah, literally. Like, I think in the last episode. <laughs> I began to see us out or the end of the episode and you just didn't hear what I said and we're just like speaking and then I was like, all right, I'll just let you end it and then I'll finish it all. Yeah, there like, you go, Vinny, you can take over. Because the internet just, just, it just... I just, I wish I understood more about it. Like, dude, I remember, dude, knock on wood. I shouldn't even say this. You know, I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to say it because people are going to wonder what oh, I was just saying. Say it. Yeah, say it. My internet used to just like turn off. Like the Wi-Fi literally, like I would not even exaggerate maybe once every two to three months, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you make content for a living and you need the internet, it's it's a problem, clearly. Um, and then what I did was I re-rigged I re everything so that my computer and my setup in here is hardwired now, so even if the Wi-Fi yeah. goes down, I still have internet, which yep. was the greatest decision of my life because since then I have had no issues, thank God. But well, oh yeah, man, is, it, was, it was a nightmare. Dude, when I was over at Dylan's house, uh, and I was working at his place because the room above him in the living room was where we were working, but the wireless up there is literal trash. It is mm. so bad. Um, but his his internet connection is like, what? Well, he does a gigabit download or whatever, and it's like rapid as hell, but the Wi-Fi in his room upstairs is worse than the internet that I get here. So, That's crazy. That makes yeah. no sense, because it's only a floor up, you know? That's weird. It's Wi-Fi, dude. It's it's so weird, because it's, like it, it, it's like when it travels through certain objects, and turns on how many mm. objects it travels through, and... Dude, I had so many people here from the internet company and they could not figure out why the Wi-Fi was so bad down here, and it was the most frustrating experience. Yeah. I, I, me and my dad would get into fights every day because he was like, the guy came, he fixed it. I'm like, it's not fixed because it's not working. And it's just, it would right. be like a constant battle over the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that was And the then thing when the Wi-Fi goes down, you got to call up the company. It yes. takes forever to get online with some, ugh. I, I, had to <laughs> to that whole, I had to get to that whole thing because in my parents' house, we were with a company and like, for those that don't know, like in the UK, basically BT, British Telecoms, they have a monopoly over the entire country of the, the telephone lines. Um, and a lot, lot, not a lot of places have fiber in the UK, like direct to the homes. So what we had to do was you get fiber to a, a cabinet and then that cabinet distributes the connection through telephone uh, lines and stuff like that. Um, and the problem was we upgraded to fiber, we were getting five download, five upload. Oh and we were God. like, what is going on? And then after countless, countless visits and a bunch of stuff we're having on Twitter, um, I spoke to the guy and they're like, yeah, we actually found the problem. We think it's something to do with the telephone lines uh, in this area, right? And I was like, cool. I was like, can you guys fix that? And you're like, I'll put in a thing for you and we'll, and we'll see where it goes. And BT got back to us and said, it is not financially viable for us to fix this, this, this connection for you. And therefore you just got stuck with it. I was like, Jeez. financially viable? What, for your customers in this area? It that is bullshit. Ridiculous. It was complete bullshit. I was not happy. I remember with my situation, I think one of the wires was old or something. Literally, they just swapped out one of the Ethernet wires, and then I was good at oh. one particular point. I was like, are that's, you kidding me? Like, that's, that's the, the greatest, problem right now? That's the greatest thing, to be honest with you. Because that's, that's the first thing I do. If anything's never not, not working, it's like, all right, swap the cables out. If that's not the, if that's not the problem, then, then try something else. But. Do you know how to like line up the uh, the Ethernet wires and like cut it off and then make a new head? 
No, my I'm dad knows how to do that. For some reason, he knows how to do that. It's like the most insane thing to watch. What? It's crazy. What? Yeah, he literally like, he's like, all right, you got to take the baby blue swirly wire. Now the blue wire. Now the orange and white wire. Then the orange wire. I'm like, how do you know how to do this? Then he takes out this little ethernet device and clips it. It was crazy. Wow. I was like, that's I'm really actually, impressive. I'm actually really impressed by that. I guess I mean, it's like one of those things. Maybe, I don't know. I When I worked in like fast food, there are, there are things in there that are in my brain that will never leave my brain, right? Mm -hmm. I know full well, if I, I have worked there in like six years or something, right? No, probably like four years, no, four or five years, something like that. But I know damn well, if I went back to, back to work there, I would know exactly everything I needed to do, yep. for sure. It's like being at the pizzeria. I, I can still definitely run a counter. Let me tell you something right now. I, I'm, I, was, I was at one point in my prime on a Friday night, Ooh, we were just whipping slices in and out of that motherfucker. It was fucking clean, dude. We had a sick team. That was one thing I do miss about working at Pizzeria was like the pride that we had where we knew we could handle a dinner rush on a Friday is like the most endorphin rush thing ever. It's so exciting. It really and then, is. And I also think I also think those days go by quite fast too, right? When you're like when you're oh, actually yeah, like yeah. working. And I always thought I don't know about you, but if I had to work an early shift. Um, so like, say for example, if I had to get up at uh, five and be at work for six and uh, start my sh start my shift at half six, whatever, um, the first part of my day literally disappeared. Whenever- Meaning it I, went by quick? I, yeah, because I, I, I don't, maybe it's because I was waking up fresh and I was quite sleepy, but that part of the day, literally up until like the afternoon, I was like, wow, where the hell did that day go? But also it's quite busy in the morning too. So I don't know, it was weird. It was very strange. That's interesting. Yeah, because I remember for me at the pizzeria, the first like three hours of the day were like, you literally just sat there, set up everything, made all the pizza, whatever. And uh, then once the first lunch rush hits, then you're like, okay, now it's game time and you start getting everything right. done. But up until that, like that first 10 to 12 is like, you just literally just prep. You're making everything, you're organizing everything, yeah. you're getting all the napkins ready, the forks, knives, spoons, all I that think, crap. I it's think with my place, cause my place is, a, uh, my, the place that I used to work out, it was like, it was good for breakfast foods and stuff like that as well. So maybe that's why it was busy constantly mm, from like yeah, yeah, yeah. nine o'clock until like for two, three o'clock. Because people would come oh, up so like, did he lag just now or was he no, thinking? I, no, I'm mentally lagged. I'm mentally lagged. <laughs> <laughs> I physically lagged. Because I looked well, over and you were like, oh, yeah, he's did moving. I, did I do the Windows? <laughs> like, Dude, that was literally, I love those sound effects, by the way. Windows XP had the, some of the best boot up and boot down sounds <laughs> literally ever. I mean, do you agree or do you disagree? It was amazing, no, I, dude. No, I agree. I'm, I just used to remember the, the terrifying dung noise and something yeah, bad dung. happened. But I remember one time in school. Was it school? I don't remember where I was. But yeah. you know sometimes where it would do that noise, but it would repeatedly do it? So it would, like, lag it out. It would be like, dum, dum, and all the windows would pop up. You oh, ever experienced that? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think terrifying. I have. Terrifying. Yeah. Literally terrifying. I, um, I, I used to have a little MP3 device that I used to listen to like I don't know it was weird it was like a like an oval like shape that was like a USB on it that I used to be a plug in put music on and listen to the music with um but it also had a microphone on it so when That's I was like when I was a kid and it, this is the sort this is the sort of kid I was I, lo I love messing with things and tinkering I found yeah. where those sound files for the windows boot noises were on the computer and I would record a message, and then when I turn my PC on, it would instead of doing that noise, it would be me speaking to myself saying "Welcome back." <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. You know, oh, you know, one of the most iconic internet noises is ever the "You got mail" on AOL. That thing. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. No way. I never you're, used. You're AOL. fucking with me, right? You I have to know used, what I'm talking about. I never used AOL. You've never heard the "You got mail." I know. It's, I know. It, I, I've heard that "You got mail." I used to name my Dragonite that, but. I, I don't know the sound effect specifically that you're, you're you're referencing. Did you ever use AIM, the instant messenger client, where like someone would log on, it would do the door opening? That blows my fucking mind, dude. That was my childhood. I, I used loved to, AIM. I was, I was, when I'm, because well, the thing is, my dad and I had, a, uh, had the internet and a computer and stuff like that, but I didn't ever have my own computer until quite late. And I think that was when MSN was getting popularized because I didn't mm. have, I didn't use AIM. At, I mean, I definitely remember as a kid installing AIM at some point because another person I wanted to talk to had it, but I didn't use it consistently, so it doesn't. It's not nostalgic in my brain at all. That's crazy. I remember people used to upload custom sounds when they would log in. It's like my friend Mikey had Ludacris saying just like that. So every time he would log on, you'd be like, "Oh, you know, it's Mikey." You wouldn't even have to look at the computer. That's dude. Awesome. Those are some good times, man. Holy yeah. crap! I used to That's love crazy. nudging people on MSN. Remember you'd have like a profile, well I don't, maybe you don't remember because you didn't use it much like you said, but you used to have a profile on AIM where you could like type custom stuff and I remember you would 
one thing that got like really popular to do, at least at my school and like in my friend group, was Song making lyrics? a hidden message oh, in like okay. Windings. Is that the name of the font? Windings? Yes, Windings? yes, yes, Windings, yes. And then all you had to do to figure out the message was just copy it, then paste it into Microsoft Word and change the font. <laughs> so everyone knew the hidden message. Like I remember the girl I liked at the time, I typed her name there. And everyone was like, oh, we know what you like. We changed the font. I was like, oh, I can't believe this. It was like just That's little hilarious. kid things. It's such a, sim time. a simpler time. I remember, do you remember, the, do you remember the Winx? Do you, you ever use MSN a lot? I don't think I ever used MSN, to be honest oh, okay. with you. So I, MS I know, obviously, of the website and the client of it, but I, yeah, I never yeah. used it. MSN had a couple cool things. They had things called nudges, where I say, if you've forgotten to message somebody, they'd nudge you, and a window would pop up, and it would shake and make a noise. Um, That's cool. There was also a thing called a called Winks, which would be like a little like a little video that plays every time. Like, so, for example, if someone uh, I don't know, uh, if you wanted to send a kiss, so you could click Wink, and it would like a, like, a, like an emoji would come up and kiss the screen or something like that. Um, That's cool. There was stuff like that, but I remember specifically, um, I used to download Winks that weren't pre-installed, and I used to send these crazy ones to people and were Custom. like. Custom. Yeah, and they were like, how That's did you epic. do that? And I was like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh -huh, you, good morning. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> It's amazing. I remember uh, there was a website. I hope I'm getting the name right. I think it was called Pixo, and you could build your own website. Like it gave you like free website hosting. I think but, like I it was like a template, so you could yeah. you could build stuff. And I remember there was a way that me and my friends figured out how to put like just a, a period anywhere on the screen, like super small in the same color font as the background. And if you would find that and you would click it, it could hyperlink it to a new page, and then that would be like your secret website. That's These are like all little, all sick. things we used to do when we were younger. Bro, it's but like, such a simpler time. Did oh, you ever, um, crazy. okay, so my social media, right? So, did you ever have a Bebo page? I don't even know what that is, Bebo. Bro, Bebo was massive in my school, and I don't know why. Uh, it, it, it was like, it was like, imagine a YouTube page, right? But there's no YouTube videos. It's just like, there's the comment section, there's like related friends, your photos, and then you've got like your main bio at the top and stuff. Like, it was huge in my school. It's like, it was like, it was like this, yeah, it, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why. I remember there being something similar to that where like, it wasn't a website, but you would click it and you'd have categories on the left that you could type yourself, and then you could click each one and like learn more about the person. I can't remember what the hell that was called, maybe it was the same thing, possible maybe. I guess. I don't know. Dude, just, there were so many cool things when we were growing up that, I feel like now when you're a kid growing up, this, the internet's so vast that there's just too much to experience at all. Dog. I, mean, I think it, it, I think we were very lucky in the uh, the year that we were born. We got to experience so much, like, like for example, Windows XP all the way to Windows 10. Like that that era of like the internet growing and stuff like that is is, is such a fantastic time. Because like, you think now, man, MSN is so old. You know, like it, you wouldn't even think about using it. But like now, nowadays, like things like Discord and Skype, they're gonna be around for years. They're gonna be around for such a long time. Well, what's so, so crazy is we saw the big jump, right? So you, yeah. we, we had the computers that were super duper slow, and then all of a sudden now they're incredibly quick. But it seems like now the curve is is dwindling. Yeah. So like. We're making improvements every year in computing, of course, but it's not drastic like it was from yes. Windows 95 to Windows, let's say, I don't yeah. know, Windows Vista. Yeah, like, you remember the resolutions, out, you know? bro? They were like 800 by 6 and that's like this oh big. Oh my god, it was insane. It was literally insane. We sound so old right now. Like the I younger know, audience probably like, what awesome. the fuck? Dude, <laughs> dude, you're telling me. I, I turned crazy. 27 like, like two weeks ago. What do you think? You know what's so messed up? Kids today probably don't even know about the green, the wallpaper with the green mountains on Windows uh, yeah. uh, the green, XP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like and that's... That, the blue, the blue bar and the green start button and... Oh God, this is taking me back! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome, I love it. Oh, Literally love it. Jeez, man. Also, oh, are you at the crazy. lighthouse right now? Where the hell are you? I'm at the top of the radio tower. Oh, I thought you were at the lighthouse. I was like, what the hell? Why is this man backtracking? Nah, By the way, there are so many battles in this part of the game, I can't even believe how long this takes. This is literally an hour long of battles right here. Yeah, well, Great. you kind of need it, right? Because, like, between... Think about it. We, we, went, we went from Chuck to Jasmine, and there was absolutely mm. nothing in between. And then That's Jasmine so true, yeah. to, to Price, you did a little bit of Team Rocket, and now there's more Team Rocket. So it's like, you kind of need this, otherwise you don't get high enough level for, like, the Elite Four or for mm. um, Claire. Because I think Claire's highest level is... Is 40, if I'm correct. That's all we have left, right? Claire's the last gym leader. Yeah, we've done seven. We're on, Claire's oh, the last wow. one, and then we have to do... Uh, the, 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 what's it called? Dragon's Den stuff, and then that's, that's right, it. That's right. Oh, and then we need to go get Lugia and Hoa. Yep. And I am playing Soul Silver. Oh, God, I feel like mine's harder. Yes, If actually, you don't know where yeah. to go, I feel like mine is very hard I have to done, figure out. I think I've done Soul Silver in every single versus that I've done. 
And I definitely think that you're gonna, you should, okay, I'm gonna say right now, I don't wanna cheat or anything, right? But you should, before that episode happens, you need to look that up. Oh, 100%. Because, dude, if you get lost in there, you're screwed. Yeah, you're literally it's done. screwed. Yeah. There was one versus I did. I can't remember what it was. It was either a three way or I think it was the three way with Dobbs and Dylan. Okay. I literally didn't have Flash, and I'm pretty sure I I almost got lost in in the Whirlpool or Whirl Islands, whatever it was called. That was almost yeah. I'm sorry, I've played this game so many times. I only ever remember. I think you go. I think you start by going because there's four different islands. I think you're meant to enter the bottom right one. I think. And I thought it was the top left. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I think, I think it's bottom right that you enter. I might be wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this! Look at this! Father and son. Dude, you scared me. I thought I did something wrong for a second. No, no, no we're good. Like... Father and son, dude. Licky and licky, licky, licky and licky tongue. It's crazy, man. Don't do that uh, to me. What was I gonna say? You know what they? I feel like we don't talk about enough, which is interesting. Everyone in, I, I never hear conversation, at least in our friend group, about this. But when we were talking about like the layout of the gyms and stuff. Everyone always talks about the Pokemon design and the new features and all this when they make a new Pokemon game, but mapping out the region and where you're supposed to go and where certain gyms are Creating and where certain world. plot points are, that's like, re that must be really difficult to do. Oh, absolutely. Like figuring that all out is, is no, you know, that's you, a daunting You really task. don't think about the actual, like, because there's probably a crap ton of preparation that goes into doing something oh like that, God. you know? Yeah, for sure. So, because like I'm trying to think if there's a region that people like the most, but not necessarily that's not their favorite game. Yes. Like I can really appreciate the Gen 3 region. I personally just love it, but obviously Kanto is still my favorite, you know? <laughs> At least for me. That's really, yeah. I, I, I don't like doing favorites with Pokemon because I just love, I mean, I, I mean, like, I, I can quite easily say, hey, I, Gen 5 can, re can respect it, can appreciate it. Not my favorite, not my cup of tea. That's totally mm. okay. But I think Generation 4 and Generation. The region of like Johto and Kanto is just like again I'm an oldie so like whatever but like, I actually think that my fav my favorite like engine is the Gen 4 engine. I think Pokemon in Gen 4 mm. is, is really sick and I have a lot of nostalgia with that too so there's something for me about Gen Gens 1 through 3 are just fantastic. I think it's just because I played them so much when I was a kid but dude I want to like do like a freaking I'm not a big science I'm not into science or like numbers and analytics and stuff like that but I would love to figure out why we like things from our past. Like, the, the whole aspect of nostalgia. Isn't I would it love to learn why, what that does in our brain chemically that makes us so excited. Is it, you know? like, is it got something to do with, like, looking through rose-tinted glasses sort of thing? It's like, it's, yeah. it's because, it's because it, it, we remember so fondly about it, but, like, we, and we know that we can never go back to that time, which creates, like, a... Warm mm. sensation and like, yeah, that was a good time. I will remember it as a good time, but I know I can never affect that ever again. Maybe something like it's that. Just, I, I think, I think it helps with memories where like this is some deep shit, but it's cool to talk about. It's like your memories of of you actually playing something when it comes to video games is so like it's so tangible. Like I remember yeah. literally playing Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. In the room right now, that's my bedroom, but that used to be like our play den for me and my brother. Oh, and we had this really big, one of those thick TVs with a huge like back CRTs, to it. CRTs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and we would just play Paper Mario on that like all the time, then family would come up. Like it was just, I'm, I'm like, like right now, I'm getting excited like talking about it and stuff, but it's so crazy like to just think about all those times. And this is a Wobba Fett and I'm kind of stressing out. Yeah, I, I remember, put him to sleep, I, though. My, 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 my sister and I used to, we didn't used to share a room, but we had, we had, a bunk bed in there, but I remember sitting at the top bunk of that of that room and playing on like a TV screen that was this big, playing Pokemon Stadium like all day. Yeah, dude, it was it was a simpler time, like we said earlier. It's just that's gotta be the name of this episode, a simpler time. So, I hope we don't forget that. We we keep talking about like like things in the past, like we just keep we keep reminiscing. I love reminiscing. To be fair, though, I, like, I can't I can't help it's, but it's the but best, it. dude. It's just it's so it's so important that I don't forget about you know the places I've been and what I've experienced yeah. and everything that led up to this moment. Like the fact that all this stuff is so important to me and now for my career, I'm blessed enough to be able to play these things. Like I was talking to Dylan about this last night, like three in the morning, neither of us could sleep, but I was like, yo, me speed running Mario 64 now and getting better at that game. Not only do I get to get better at something, but I'm literally taking something from when I was a little kid that is still my favorite game and now like mastering it to an extent, which is That's like exactly really how exciting. I feel about, 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 instead of mastering it, but like playing this game, like all those years I spent like playing Pokemon, for example, as a kid, like led up to like, thi like this path I took. If I had never found any like enjoyment or I like, ever been introduced to playing Pokemon, if, if, 
It's crazy to me because it's like the reason that I like Pokemon is because of a guy uh, uh, at the time, a boy that lived two doors down from my nan's house that my nan knew, but the family of. And when I was very, very young, I used to go around his house and play Pokemon Stadium, right? Hmm. That's where it started for me. If I didn't, it's just crazy. If my nan never met that family or like, you know, yep. never lived where she lived. Butterfly or like, effect type yeah, shit. Yeah, it's crazy how much of, of a difference it would be. Like my life would be, it's just, it's just insane. That's why they say if you could go back in time that there's this, you know, the, the butterfly effect theory where essentially, you know, if I, if we woke up today and instead of when you texted me, yo, my internet's working again, do you want to record? I said no versus saying yes. Is that a legendary? It's the end. It's your boy. It's your boy. Throw a ball. Hope for the best. Bro, I'm... <sighs> if you get that thing, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> that thing is clean. Oh, it does more. Yo, imagine you actually get it. That man, that man would have helped you drastically. That's a that's a thick boy right there. Bye. That's a thick boy. But yeah, it's like if I would have, you know, said no to recording today as opposed to saying yes, completely different outcome for the rest of the day, completely different outcome for the rest of your life. It's freaking crazy to think about, dude. And you know why? Wow. And you know, that's exactly why I love time travel shows. Uh, there was an anime I watched uh, recently. Well, I've, I've always loved it. I've watched it for ages uh, called Steins Gate. Uh, but I'm also my favorite movie is uh, the but literally the butterfly effect. If you've ever seen that movie, it's fantastic. It's like got so many. It's got like three different endings and like all sorts yeah. of crazy stuff. I, I do the whole concept of messing with time is like so perplexing and like exciting. It's, did you like really Endgame? Cool. Did you watch Endgame? Do you watch the Marvel movies? I don't think uh, they ever talked. Oh about. yeah, when they did time travel in Endgame too, I was like, damn. They did it in a very unique way, which I appreciated, where nothing changed. It essentially just made like a new reality or whatever. It's kind of confusing yeah. to talk about, but. I liked how they could go back and actually interact with their previous selves. That oh, was really that's cool. like a there's, there's a there's a theory to that, right? It's like a man. It's flash fire. What the fuck are you kidding me? There's, <laughs> Sorry, guys. There, there's that theory that like, say for example, if I go back in the past and I change something, right, and then come back here, it won't change things in this timeline. But there's a different timeline that I affected where I didn't do that thing. Yeah. So it's like yeah. this this timeline is already set in its ways, and we're going this way. What I do now affects what happens in the future, but you can't go back in the past and change this specific timeline that we're on. We could change another one, if that makes sense. I wonder sense. how it would really be when time travel finally does exist, if it doesn't already exist. I, dude, if it, can you imagine if that even, even how would you even? I mean, it's probably See, possible. I, I just don't think it'll ever be accessible to the public and the common oh, of folk. Course. Like it's gonna be for like higher ups that We'll never even know it existed, but can you imagine if anyone could go back and change shit? How would anyone even live life? Dude, wow, that's the thing. That's, that's like scary. a weird fucking, that's some weird shit that's, to think yeah, about, but seriously. Yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing to dabble in, because I think apparently as well, they, I think they said, or somebody has said that, actually, you could potentially time travel if you move at the speed of light, or like if you, uh, if you, if you create a black hole, if you fell into a black hole, you potentially before, travel yeah. in time or something like that. I don't know, but it's just crazy, man. It's, like, it's ridiculous. It crazy. Think the, about. the crazy thing too, I was I, I listen to the Joe Rogan podcast a lot, and he always has like you know astronauts and and really in, in, intensely smart scientists, and they're basically saying you know at some particular point, maybe not in our lifetimes, maybe not our kids' lifetimes, but eventually we are our destiny, so to speak, is to migrate to other planets and live there. Yeah, so Mars like Mars, I'm pretty sure they want one. us to live on yeah. Mars at some particular point and somehow colonize the moon, I think people were talking about. Which is just so ridiculous that eventually we will be in outer space. It's like, what yeah. the fuck? And that's going to be normal for people growing up in like yeah. hundreds and hundreds of years. Not, not knowing like life on Earth and only knowing life on Mars. What the <laughs> fuck? That's so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. You ever think to yourself like, we make videos that are going to last forever. In other words, you know, back in the day when people would take fo uh, photographs, eventually the uh. photograph could like fade away and, and, and go oh, away. Yeah, but it, was, it was on physical media. Now, like we have like, I mean, we're in the cloud. Yeah. Think about it. Like, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, think about how it would be to go to somebody like 70 years ago and be like, yeah, I just grab, if, if I pull up this, this device on my pocket, boom, photo. They'd be like, yep. how is that in there? You know, like it, they think you were literally the devil or like witchcraft or some shit right, like that. Exactly. But what's so crazy is like, and I always think about this is like when we look at footage from an old, let's say when the NFL first started, like old, old football games and it looks so terrible. 
Yeah. When quality gets better and better and better, are we going to look at this video one day and be like, oh my God, that's awful. You or know, I, actually, still look I good? actually think about that a lot. And I'm like, I'm like, when does it like get to the point where it's just like, it, you, can't, it, can't, it can't improve anymore? Yeah. Yo, yo, this is a good ass episode. Holy dude, shit. Dude, I'm liking think, these conversations. We're, we're, really, we're really thinking about this stuff right we're now. We're in dude. it today, man, because it's, it's so crazy. It's like one day in the year th 3006. You know, maybe someone's watching this right now like, oh my god, I like old school poke tubing. Where it first like kind of started, you know, and they just come back yeah. and they watch us. That's wild. By well, the way, that's this dialogue how I feel is kind of like, You know, like Shofu and like Pimp Knight and like Hayden and stuff. They were all doing this stuff like back in 2008, 2007. Yeah. And I remember watching Pioneers, their content man. ages and ages and ages ago. But you could go back and look at those videos and be like, damn. This quality sucks, but like it's, it's just crazy. like that's how it was in the, in the back of the day. It's just it just it's just crazy how it's improved, and that's the thing. Is like, that's another thing I don't think people will ever we we can we appreciate it more because we've experienced how bad it can be. Yep. So. And by the way, time, dude, a simpler time. What a freaking episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Thank God the internet held up. We're going to record yes. one more of these bad boys today. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. Hit that like button. Enter the giveaway. Follow us on Twitter and IG at Vinny at Game Boy Luke. We love Indeed. you. Lukey, any final words before we wrap this up? <gasps> Thank you for listening to our rambling. Dude, I feel like we should just make a podcast. This. We'd have Sunday sauce and Saturday spice. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> Saturday spice. Tuesday tea with the bread. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> It's clean. I, I got ideas for days, fam. Let's go. <laughs> That's brilliant. But yeah, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. We appreciate all the support. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And literally anything we talk about, engage with us and join the dialogue in the comments. Let us know yes. what you guys thought about all the stuff we discussed and your past and all that fun jazz like that. Mm -hmm. We love you, fam. Thank you for everything. And we will see you on, I believe, Thursday. The next episode goes up. So see you guys then. Peace. Love you, fam. Peace. Good stuff.